Hi friends, welcome to my channel VLS Aigyan. In this uh, session, we are going to see what is false path in VLS sign. In static timing analysis, we many time come across this word false path. So in this video, we will see what is a false path and how to write constraints for false path. So before going into the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel to get all the stuff related to VLS sign. So friends, what is false path? Many times in static timing analysis, we hear this word and we use this uh, constraints also. So let us make this concept a little bit clear. So false path refers to a timing path. It is also a timing path that does not need to be optimized for timing. Means we don't want that path to be optimized. So we tell the system or the tool not to optimize this path okay the path that physically exists these are the path which are physically existing in the design but are not logical or functional they never get sensitized under any input conditions so here you can see an example of false path friends here we see that we have two registers register this is the first register and this is the second register. In between these two registers, we have two multiplexes. Here I am taking a simple example of false path to make the concept clear. Okay. So you can see two registers in between you have two multiplexes. The output of this register Q is given to the input A0. Okay. A0. And you can see the MUX output is connected to A1 of the second MUX. But friends, you need to notice here one thing that this is the select line which is same for both the muxes. Both the muxes are given the same select line. So let us recall the basic functionality of a mux. This is a simple two is to one mux. Means we have two inputs and a single output. So how this mux works? So based on the select lines. So here we have the inputs A0 and A1, right? So when select line is 0, that time A0 will be selected and it will be passed to the output, right? Similarly, when select line is equal to 1, a1 will be selected and it will be passed to the output. So here you can see that select line is the same. So if the A0 is selected, so definitely A0 of the MUX2 will be selected, right? Not the A1. So this output of MUX1 is given to A1 will never get happen because here you are the, applying the input to A0 and here also A0 will only get selected because the select line is same. Right. So this will never get executed. This output of MUX1 will never get be uh, well applied to A1. Okay. So this is a false path. Logically, this is not going to happen. So this type of the circuits are called or the paths are called false path. Other examples are also there like we have the clock, the clock domain crossing clock domain crossing in which the double synchronizer logic has been added like we or you can have a register might be written once at the power up or a reset or test logic okay so there are many examples of the false path so i have taken a simple example so two muxes you can see both are given the same select line so when a0 is selected definitely a0 of the mux2 will be selected so a1 will not get selected so this path is a false path. So from Q to D, it is not a true path. This path will not get executed or it is not logically correct. So we need to write constraint for such kind of the paths. So we need to tell the tool that these are the false path and we don't want to analyze this paths. Okay. So set false path constraints allow you to exclude a path from timing analysis. As we have seen, 
also like test logic, reset logic, registers which are written for uh, only once at the power up and all this kind of the paths are uh, false path. So we need to tell the tool that these are the false path and please don't analyze this path for timing, right? So you can specify the source from common through elements and destination elements of the path. There are many ways in which we can write the constraint. So friends, in the previous example, we have taken two marks and two registers and we have uh, seen how the false path is generated. Now we'll see how to write the constraint for that path only, okay? So this is how we write the constraint. Set false path through get pins max a naught get pins max a naught through get pins max a1. So this path is set as a false path. So whatever the uh, pins are there in between this are all excluded. So this is how we write the constraints for false path. Uh, friends, I hope that this made this topic a little bit clear for you and it was useful to you. So uh, uh, thanks for watching this video and please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries regarding the VLSI topics, like anything related to design, RTL design, Please put it in the comment section. I will definitely try to work it out. Thank you. Thanks for watching.